Hey, Frontline fans, welcome back to Comic Frontline. And fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do that all important comic book review so you, the fans, can make a decision what comic books to buy. And today, guys, we're talking about an all new, all different Marvel Now title, and this is called Illuminati, issue number one. Now, in the beginning, I wasn't too turned on about this book. I sat there and said, ah, Red Hood, okay, yeah, we'll see what's going on here. And uh, I was like, I'll give it a try because, yes, it's a number one book. But pleasantly, I was surprised with this book. Now, this issue is written by Joshua Williamson, and the art is done by Sean Crystal. Now, the artwork in here, I was strangely attracted to. Um, I love the facial expressions in this book, uh, especially when it comes to Mary, which is Titana in here. I thought she was beautifully drawn at times. And then at times I thought maybe the artwork could have been a little bit more improved, uh, especially when it came to certain facial expressions as well. Maybe, you know, Jennifer Walter's facial expression there wasn't as, you know, crisp or the way I felt that it should be, you know, I felt maybe it could have been a little bit off, but here it looked absolutely gorgeous. So at times it was great and other times it was okay. Uh, but paneling was really cool. I did like the action scenes in here, especially when it came to Iron Fist in this book. Uh, you got to see the extent of his powers uh, when he does do a battle against Titana here. You get to see the power of the of the fists, you know. You get to see his fists light up and the dragon behind him. And, and you get to see what his powers have. Um, I thought that was really cool. So what did I think about the story? Let's talk about the story a little bit. Let's recap it, and then I'll give you my final opinions on the actual book. Um, like I said, the artwork worked for me, and uh, basically what happens in this story is we find in the beginning uh, that Carl and, um, and Mary, which is Absorbing Man and Titana, uh, they wind up um, – Mary is visiting – absorbing man in jail and uh titana winds up getting the second second lease on life you know basically she's trying to run the straight narrow you know trying to do the right thing and she talks to absorbing man and says that's it we're done we're going to do this uh we're actually going to you know straighten up our act and no matter what titana tried to do she really couldn't find what she was looking for she got this crappy job she's sleeping in a hole in a wall and she's you know she talks about this to jennifer walters and jennifer walters offers her you know this position at this job and and it wound up not going her way and uh it wound up becoming the this big setup or these 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 guys were going after her and whatnot, and uh, the pawn shop guy blamed her for the crime. And as she was going back to jail, um, we wind up seeing that Red Hood winds up making his appearance in the actual issue. And then so what he's doing here is he's gathering up villains to make the big score, to try to be – the you know the avengers of bad guys you know so i thought that was a really cool issue and um you know what the end game is here for red hood uh we're not really sure uh at this point in time but uh the last page here was really awesome here with him shooting his guns um so what did i think about this issue i i thought it was great i thought it was a really good read you know this book made you care about a b villain that we haven't heard from in years both i mean even even absorbing man we haven't heard from him in forever you know titana i i think i read an issue of her in, in spectacular or web spider-man doing a spider-man's classic on my channel and being that, you know, the writer here got you to care for Titana, you kind of want her, you, you kind of want to root for her. Maybe, hopefully, she does go that right path and, uh, you know, not fall for Red Hood's antics here. And, uh, you know, it really got you caring for her. And I really like that. They did a good character development issue here uh, with her. And uh, I can't wait to see how this actual team, again, is formed and what Red Hood's MO is in all this because it seems like he's set 
setting her up for something, maybe something for her to fail, and uh, in him taking in over, you know, maybe the big payday or whatnot. So really cool issue. I definitely suggest this one to you guys, and uh, I gotta give this one a four and a half out of five stars. I really, really enjoyed it. Hopefully, it stays consistent and intriguing enough to pick it up each and every month. And this one was not a five dollar book; it was a three ninety nine book. So guys, in the comments below, tell me what you thought of Illuminati issue number one. Were you on board with this book? Did this let you down? Were you not a fan of that artwork? And all those other questions and all those other answers that you want to put in the comments below. So fans, as always, thank you for watching Comic Frontline. If you want to see more of my reviews, you can check out my own individual channel, Comic Book Corner 2.0. Don't forget our live show each and every Tuesday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Or you can check us out on um, iTunes where we have all our episodes on our shows. And we're proud members of ComicPodcast.com. So you have lots of ways to watch us here on Comic Frontline. So guys, again, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off and thanks for watching. Take care, guys. Bye.